Hello, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a simple and easy app script in Google Sheets that can help you automate uh, something that you may need to do. If you're new to this channel, my name is Elad. I have been using Excel and Google Sheets for a long time. Started this YouTube channel and I'm also working as a freelancer. And if you like that kind of content, please hit that subscribe button. All right, so this is what this video is about. You have um, a Google Sheets file, you have um, check boxes where you mark things that are completed. And for some reason, you want to clear all the check boxes. So you can create this button, which just does exactly that. It's very easy, very simple and it's very friendly. This could be used if you have sort of a sheet that you want someone to make, um, you know, uh, mark things and then every day it has the same um, uh, same check. So that's it. Uh, it's very simple. What you need to go, you need to go to extensions, app script. This is what I got over here. And this is the entire code. Function on edit, which means that whenever something changes, it's referencing um, that cell. I'm declaring a sheet, all right, so sh, it's the e range get sheet, whatever um, uh, location I'm actually changing. I have this if, this is very useful for these kind of um, uh, scripts that you make sure that you're in the right place, the right sheet. So I'm checking if the name is main, which is the name that I have over here, that the column is four and the row is two. So D2, it means column four, row two, and the value is true. Now remember, check boxes are basically just a value, true or false. Okay, if you are if you don't remember how to create a check box, it's very easy. Go to data, data validation, add a rule, and select in the criteria, check box. That is it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that out. All right. So basically, I'm checking if the value here is true. If it is, then I'm entering the if. And all it does is basically set a value false to two ranges. The ranges that I have here, B2 through B16, and the checkbox itself, because I want to uh, bring it back to false. That is it. Very simple. Show you again how it works. You just select, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss the next video. See you next time, guys.